One, have some fun. Hi everyone, I'm going to be reading a book called A Big Little Golden Book Series titled The Pokey Little Puppy. And if you love my reading, please like, subscribe, and share. And do not forget to hit the bell icon. Let's get started. The Pokey Little Puppy by Janity Sebring Lowry, illustrated by Gustav Tengeren. Five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, one after the other. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now where is, where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. And this is their four little puppy searching for the little one. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a fuzzy caterpillar. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a quick green lizard. Do you know lizards lose their tails when they feel touched? Yes, I know that. I was asking the learners. Okay. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, running around and around, his nose to the ground. A poor little pup. He found the little pokey puppy. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another. And down they went to see. Roly poly pell mell, tumble bumble till they came to the green grass. And there they stopped, stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. I smell something said the pokey little puppy. Then the four little puppies began to sniff, and they smelled it too. Rice pudding, they said, and home they went as fast as they could. Go over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence, and there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with rice Pudding for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. So you're the little puppies who dig holes under the fences. She said, no rice pudding tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after Everyone was sound asleep. He ate up the rice pudding and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put, a, put up the sign. The sign said, don't ever dig holes under this fence. But the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence just the same and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow they went, down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, and up the hill, two and two. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four, the one little puppy wasn't there. 
Now where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. He wasn't going down the other side. There was only one thing. One thing they could see was going down was a big black spider. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a brown hop-ho. Hop-toad. Hop-toad. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there was... Do you know the difference between toad and frog? Yes. What is that? I don't... Frog is in the water. And, and toad toads are on the... land. Yes. The pokey little puppy, sitting still as a stone, with his head on one side and his ears cocked up. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another, and down they went to see. Roly-poly, pell-mell, tumble-bumble, till they came to the green grass. And there they stopped short. What in the world are you doing? They asked. I hear something, said the pokey little puppies. The four little puppies listened, and they could hear it too. Chocolate custard, they cried. Someone is spooning it into our bowls. And home they went as fast as they could go over the bridge. Up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with chocolate custard for dessert. But their mother was greatly displeased. So here are the puppies who will dig. So here are the little puppies who will dig holes under fences, she said. No chocolate custard tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the pokey little puppy came home after everyone else was sound asleep. And he ate up all the chocolate custard and crawled into bed as happy as a lark. The next morning, someone had filled the hole and put up a sign. The sign said, don't ever, ever dig holes under this fence. But in spite of that, the five little puppies dug a hole under the fence and went for a walk in the wide, wide world. Through the meadow, they went down the road, over the bridge, across the green grass, got to the top. And up the hill. And up the hill, two and two. And when they got to the top of the hill, they counted themselves. One, two, three, four. One little puppy wasn't there. Now, where in the world is that pokey little puppy? They wondered, for he certainly wasn't on top of the hill. This is like a mystery. He wasn't going down the other side. The only thing they could see going down was a little grass snake. This he, one this one is a grass snake. My mom was very scared of any kind of snakes. But not one from a book. He wasn't coming up this side. The only thing they could see coming up was a big grasshopper. This one grasshopper. This is actually these two are actually science experiments. We can measure them, we can study them as well. But when they looked down at the grassy place near the bottom of the hill, there he was, looking hard at something on the ground in front of him. What is he doing? The four little puppies asked one another, and they went. And down they went. And down they went to see roly poly pell mell tumble bumble till they came to the green grass and there they stopped short what in the world are you doing they asked 
I see something, said the pokey little puppy. The four little puppies looked, and they could see it too. It was a ripe red strawberry growing there in the grass. Strawberry shortcake, they cried. At home they went as fast as they could go, over the bridge, up the road, through the meadow, and under the fence. And there, sure enough, was dinner waiting for them with strawberry shortcake for dessert. But their mother said, so you're the pup, little puppies who dug that hole under the fence again. No strawberry shortcake for supper tonight. And she made them go straight to bed. But the four little puppies waited till they thought she was asleep. Then they slipped out of slipped out and filled up the hole and when they turned around was their mother watching them. What good little puppies, she said. Come have some strawberry shortcake. And this time when the pokey little puppy got home, he had to squeeze in a squeeze in through a wide place in the fence. And there was his four and there were his four Brothers and sisters licking the last crumbs from their saucer. Dear me, said his mother, what a pity so your pokey. Now the strawberry shortcake is all gone. So the pokey little puppy had to go to bed without a single bite of shortcake. And he felt very sorry for himself. And the next morning, someone had put up this a sign that read, No desserts ever unless puppies never dig holes under this fence again. That pokey little puppy saw it, and he finally learned his lesson. Yes. The, the end. end. Bye.